Who's that bitch boy in the background? Is that the guy who's fucking you in the ass right now? That's inappropriate. Is that the guy who's these people, they try so hard. They make videos. They feel good about themselves. Let's address something that she's alleging I'm done. She is referring to this video, a montage of my greatest hits, if you will, that is often used uh, against me. So let's address some of the things in this video. Oh no, he has a family. My favorite one is this one. Brother of Paul Carney. I just want to be clear. That's not my brother. <laughs> I don't know who this fucking guy is. Can somebody please contact Paul, poor Paul Carney from Cohasset? That's not my brother. I swear to God, that's not my brother. That guy looks older than me. I'm the oldest guy in the family. So let's listen to what I allegedly said that was so offensive. Can you live stream? trying to ruin my life. My girlfriend's family knows about it now, and I'm, I'm hurt. Live stream. Hurt. Live stream. You know about it. You're going to kill yourself. I'm not going to threaten that. Okay, okay. so are you, you know gonna, how come you haven't killed yourself yet? I'm still waiting on that. Who's that bitch boy in the background? Is that the guy who's fucking you in the ass right now? That's inappropriate. Is that the guy who's... Uh, so let me explain that one. That guy's name is Dawson Boston. And Dawson Boston is currently in jail right now because he sold heroin that killed a person. He's literally a murderer. And I had him on the show because heroin dealers are murderers, in my opinion. They're the lowest form of life. They prey on vulnerable people and they profit off of them. And what Dawson Boston was attempting to do was weaponize suicide against me. He came on the show and he's like, oh, yeah. I'm going to kill myself to prove a point. And you're going to be in big trouble when I kill myself. Of course, he wasn't really going to. That is a very low thing to do to attempt to weaponize a very serious thing that millions of people have suffered from before. And you're attempting to weaponize it. Of course, he's not going to kill himself. He's not suicidal. I was mocking him. And I regret absolutely nothing. I was right the whole time. So no, I have not actually provoked somebody to kill themselves. There's a lie. I was mocking him, you child. The Tivitin Gouda Gremlin. This is the chick live streamed herself from the bathroom and almost took a dump on the show. If you take a dump, if you take a dump on this live show, it will be the highest rated live show. Inappropriate. I know it's you. This one's not fair, this one. Okay. So I got catfished by a lunatic. Uh, what the hell was that guy's name? Manny something? I blogged about them. These two criminals who went to jail, they were buddies in jail together. His name, Adam something, and his buddy Manny from uh, Arizona or California or something. I wrote about them. I get a, a, a phone call. Hello. Uh, it was a voicemail. It's like, yeah, this is a uh, attorney, whatever. I represent Manuel, whatever his name is. And uh, we, I would like to discuss taking that blog down. Uh, it needs to come down, please. And I'm like, oh, geez, another fucking lawsuit. Great. Just what I need. I ended up taking Manny out of the blog temporarily because I didn't want to deal with another fucking lawsuit. Well, as it turns out, that was Manny. Manny was pretending to be an attorney, prank calling me from a, a, a burner number. And I'm like, obviously I got burned there. So two hours later during the live show, I get a call from an Arizona number. And I'm like, oh, it's fucking Manny again, fucking with me pretending to be a Prescott City, Arizona cop. And so I think I'm talking to Manny the whole time. I didn't realize I was actually talking to a cop. I tell him, I, 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 and I, I spoke with the cop afterwards. We had a good laugh about it. We're buddies now. I said some awful things to this cop because I thought I was talking to Manny. Okay? I thought I was getting catfished. How big is your cock? Ooh, How that's not appropriate. Yeah, I did. Is it three inches, three and a half, maybe? So once you contact that number, what's the number again, bitch? Hey, listen, faggot. What's the number? What That's is not appropriate. Nine two eight. Yeah. Seven seven two. Yeah. Nine two six. So I Google this number. How many times have you been fucked in the ass, officer? And that was I call him back, and the guy answered. I'm in my car after the Super Bowl. I didn't drive that night. My wife did, and then I live streamed from my car because that's where i used to live stream from is my car and talked about the super bowl from my car while i was drunk and you can see in the in the video i'm in my garage i'm clearly not driving and they're like he's drinking and driving check this out behind the wheel of a car drunk at least it wasn't the Patriots. This is me in Cincinnati for the Patriots game. I'm obviously lit. 
because it's a Patriots game. You got to be. And God forbid a, a grown man drink alcohol in public and live stream. No, it's a, it's a drunk in public, the comment says. It's got to be better than a lamp lighter. Hey, there's no strip club in Ohio, the whole fucking state. All right, but that's the question. Now, Bible 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 Bible. Bible. Would you trust you? <laughs> that was it. That was the best thing they do. That was that was that was the best shot they had, guys. I, I crack it up when I saw that video. I'm like, what is this? My greatest hits? That that's the best you got on me? I could find a more offensive clips than those.